Hello and welcome to my channel. Today's video is my Christmas gift guide video. I know a few of you have requested this video and I have talked about like doing this for quite some time so we're finally doing it. If you're looking for ideas for gothic people in your life or maybe you need to get a gift for Secret Santa for someone who's goth or something like that or if you're just looking for ideas of what to put on your own Christmas list I hope this is helpful. I know a lot of you really enjoy this type of video so yes I'm really excited to get through all of this stuff because I'm literally surrounded by things. <laughs> just before we start if my voice doesn't I mean it's not really my voice it's kind of the the way I talk doesn't sound as flowy as normal. I actually have a mouth ulcer and it's very painful. I've put like bonjala on it and that is kind of numbing it but it's very uncomfortable to kind of talk. I wasn't sure if I'd be able to film today but it was a bit less painful than yesterday. <laughs> so sorry if my if I just don't sound as like flowy as normal. <laughs> I have put everything into categories. This might be quite a long video so grab a snack, um, grab some paper if you want to make a note of all of this stuff but I've got some really varied things from big brands, small businesses and I also have like an American brand section at the end because I know some of my viewers are from America so I've got some ideas for you too. <laughs> so starting with cards and gift wrap. These are also items that vary in price some of them are super affordable like five pounds and some of them are definitely expensive starting with cards and gift wrap the first company is crafty burrito i think it's burrito or just crafty b she does a lot of different cards and wrapping paper and she always brings out a huge selection of like horror themed ones nightmare before christmas um just a whole range for basically every type of gothic person like boyfriend, sister, brother, like mum, parents, everything. So she definitely has a good range. Next one is the Littlest Spook Shop. I bought my Christmas cards from her last year and they were perfect for my friends. They're really like fun and cute with loads of ghosts. She does like A5 ones and also small packs of A6 which are good for sending to friends and she's also done wrapping paper in the past as well and all of her products are super nice quality. The next one is Violet Moth. Now this is more like stickers rather than like cards but I thought I'd put this in with like the packaging kind of group. She does really good stickers to put if you're like sending someone something in the post. So she has like Merry Christmas ones, little ghosts that say Spooky Christmas. I actually use them for my shop Simply Gothic because they're super adorable and very very affordable. You always get a load on like the sheet that you buy. The next one is Teeth and Claws. I have bought cards from her before and they're such a nice quality. Her drawings are gorgeous. They're more of like a creepy fine liner style. So she does like presents with like bats coming out of them. You could use those for birthdays as well. She also does like Christmas trees with bats flying around. Her designs are really cute and really spooky. There is Sandstar Art. Again her drawings are super cute, super spooky and super fun. Um, she does those ghosts and like pumpkin snowman cards and she does like a pack of six I believe with all of the different designs. She also does like spooky bookmarks, pin badges. She has loads of like different things available in these kind of gothmas prints that she's bought out. Second to last one is You're So Cool. She usually brings out like spooky Nightmare Before Christmas cards, Nightmare Before Christmas paper. Again quite a whole range and all of these artists have completely different styles. I love all of them um, but you can kind of choose which style appeals to you the most. And the last one is Afterlife Crypt. She's brought out skull Christmas cards and they're like a realistic looking human skull with a Santa hat with snow. Very creepy, very macabre. <laughs> so that's also a good option. Next up is Christmas decor. Now this is Christmas specific things. First up is Killstar. They always bring out like spooky stockings. So there's like a naughty or nice elf one I think this year. And um, they also have bat decorations, skull decorations, and they also do like spooky tinsel. So they definitely have quite a lot of options for like tree decorating and all of that. I also have bought out my own Christmas tree decorations this year for my shop Simply Gothic so I'll put some photos on the screen but I've got a Christmas ghost and also a Christmas ginger dead man. <laughs> so I also do those as like a bundle of two so I do offer tree decorations and the last one for decorations has to be Grimly Fiendish Crafts. If you've bought an advent calendar from me 
for both the Halloween and the Christmas one, you will have received tree decorations in both of those, I think. But I have quite a few. This is like my newest little orange one, but they're really cute. They're little felt decorations and they've got strings. So you can hang them on your tree. This is actually one she sells all year round, like a Halloween one, but she also has spooky skeleton men, spooky snowmen, different colored bats. Like she has so much like little ghosts holding like bells and candy canes. Like she has such the choice. Next up is clothing and shoes. Now this is kind of more of the more expensive kind of things. So clothing wise, it's always a bit difficult to pick clothing for people, I suppose. But if you do know that they like a certain aesthetic or like a certain brand, then it's not a bad thing to choose. Most goths absolutely love clothes. <laughs> so the clothing brands that I would recommend are Killstar. Killstar has been a little bit hit and miss lately, but generally I find them still good. I still buy from them. Also, I forgot to say, most of these companies I have bought from and I would recommend generally. <laughs> I've bought from their newer collections and I'm still happy with it. So Killstar is always an option. There's also Collective if you know someone who likes more like vintagey things um, or like Halloween aesthetic. They do loads of Halloween clothing, Halloween bags, Halloween jewellery. They do quite a lot and the quality of them is amazing. So definitely had to mention Collective. And the last kind of clothing brand is Kate's Clothing. Now they are a stockist. Um, there's actually two. So there's Kate's Clothing and I do have a discount. So I've got a few discounts for some of this, which you can use to save some money. Kate's Clothing, it's simply underscore spooky. I'll put it on the screen for you here. That did get you 30% off. I'm not sure if that still works because it was for November only. If not, it will give you 15% off. So still quite a good saving and they offer so many brands. They've got Collective and Killstar. They also have Punk Rave, Dark in Love, a few of the makeup brands I'll be showing you later on. They do hot chocolate design shoes. They just do so many brands that I'm actually mentioning throughout this video. They also stock my stuff, which is Simply Gothic. So if you wanted to get my things off of there, you can also use that discount code. That is an affiliate link, so I do get some money back if you make a purchase through that link or the code. So just bear that in mind if you're not happy with affiliate links. And the other one is Row Rocks Boutique. <laughs> Got it right this time. And if you've seen one of my previous videos, you'll see that I did a haul with them recently and I was really, really pleased with everything. Their selection isn't as much as Kate's clothing. They do more like Hell Bunny, Band. Do they do Demonia? They do quite like different brands to Kate's clothing. And I also have a coupon code for that which is simply spooky 10 and that will get you 10% off your order and they do both of them do free shipping over 40 pounds which is always good so I'll leave that code on the screen for you here for Row Rocks Boutique. <laughs> Shoes wise one brand of shoe that I absolutely love and it's no surprise if you've been following me for a while is Hot Chocolate Design. So these are my recent ones I actually won these in a giveaway which was extremely nice and these are the Salem shoes so all of their shoes are kind of flat or they do mid heels or high heels or platform shoes as well they do loads of different styles so some of them aren't always like gothic and alternative but they definitely have those like these ones so these are actually velvet and they do have like cauldrons and like a baphomet and snakes so very very kind of spooky looking they've got witches and bats inside you can either get them from Hot Chocolate Design themselves. There's a stockist called Must Wear Designs. I might have a code with them. Um, I'm not sure if they gave me a personal code or if they gave me a code to share. I'll have to double check. But if I have a code from them, I will leave it on the screen. Um, or you can get them from Kate's Clothing. Again, using that other discount that I gave you. I'm full of discounts today. <laughs> Bag-wise, there's two companies that stood out to me. The first one is Killstar again, and the second one is, I think it's Choc Goth, or I don't think it would be Choke, because there's no E. Choc Goth? Something like that. So that company do like coffin bags. They do like coffin backpacks, coffin bags at your side that are a bit smaller. They do bat ones, skulls. They do a whole range, So, um, and they are also a small business. And also kill stuff for bags. Now I've heard some people again have had mixed kind of reviews on their bags, but I've got quite a few kill stuff bags. Some of them I've had for years. I used this one. This is kind of like my everyday bag, and I absolutely love this one. It's it's just my favourite. I love it so much. And this one was from Killstar. And I also have like 
this one so they do like a whole range of styles this one's like a little backpack <laughs> So I would recommend Kill Stars bags from my experiences. I've also got like their bigger backpacks, their weekend bags I always take on holiday with me and everything has lasted me for years. So I would recommend their bags and I've got a few bags from them for Christmas before and I always love receiving a bag. <laughs> so those are kind of the more bigger items. Subscription box wise, there's not many gothic subscription boxes out there to be honest. Um, I wouldn't recommend Spooky Box just because of the wait time um sometimes their boxes can be hit or miss generally they're very cute but they do take four at least four months to arrive so because i'm putting this out in december and if you're using this for present ideas for someone else i wouldn't recommend you buy that because you won't get it probably until at least spring <laughs> so maybe not but the one subscription box that I do subscribe to kind of on and off is a cult box so I have bought from them a few times they do alternate between spooky themes and more like witchy themes I tend to go for their gothic themes I think their gothic themes are better they're more like decor jewelry that kind of thing whereas the witchy boxes are more like herbs candles just general witchy stuff so i would recommend like the gothic themes for a cult box like the ghost box the vampire box the haunted house box that kind of thing i'm too stationary and i have to recommend myself <laughs> if you're looking for stationary for someone who loves a gothic aesthetic then i do have these two products in particular so i've got the goth notebook they're both in like a similar style with like a hardback cover with chunky binding this one has like quotes throughout it with lined paper with all of these like spooky borders Let's see if i can find a quote so this would be a excellent gift for a spooky person who absolutely is obsessed with stationery like me <laughs> so i do have this i also have like desk planner pads that you can have like flat open on your desk and like they're the tear off style um i've got weekly daily planners and also like small notebooks that would be good for that or if you're looking for a planner for someone i do have the goth planner this is the 2023 version i'm not sure how long i'll be selling these for um probably until the end of december but i'm really excited to start this actually um you do get like a monthly kind of double page and then it goes into a weekly view like that so if that gothic person is wanting to get organized and they absolutely love a planner then i do have this i also have a digital version as well come to me for all your stationary needs <laughs> to home decor so i had to mention grimly fiendish crafts again because she's mainly a home decor company so she does these adorable little wall hangings they're around 10 pounds so perfect for more like a secret santa gift or maybe something for a friend but this is just one of the many <laughs> that i own and it's one of her kind of classic ones with a ghost absolutely adorable and they instantly like spook up your wall so yes definitely recommend grimly fiendish crafts i have like a whole i call it my gallery wall it's full of like a different bunch of artists i couldn't take everything down so what i'll do is i'll just like name them and i'll try and take photos of what i have but the next one is house of hidden horrors her artwork is like gorgeous if you know someone who loves ghosts like someone like me <laughs> um her artwork is stunning she hand draws and paints everything and she does kind of like wall decor pieces like this coffin one's actually from her um but she also does like framed pieces more statement things so there's her there's also the little spook shop she again does loads of ghost like prints there's october 31st which is a whole stockist of a bunch of different brands both here in the uk and america so always a good option if you know someone who loves halloween like all year round and the last one i could think of was I think it's new foe hopefully i'm saying that right i haven't said her name for quite a while so i'm hoping that was right but she does these gorgeously like digital artwork pieces 
and I actually have one of her vampire pieces. A lot of gothic people love Tim Burton and she does like a corpse bride one. She's got a new Sweeney Todd print which is stunning. She has Nightmare Before Christmas pieces and they're all like in these coffin frames. They're really really cool, really unique and they're one-off pieces. So if you're looking for something maybe a little bit more on the pricey side but is like a unique one-off kind of thing then definitely go and check out her. We're probably about halfway through. <laughs> I did tell you to get a snack. <laughs> I've got like an other category. Now this only has two in because I, I didn't know really where these would go. The first one is books. Now I know TK Maxx do a bunch of different like leathery books and I don't think they're real leather but they're like these really nice books and they do like Edgar Allan Poe poems and things like that. I actually have a huge Phantom of the Opera one. You can get them from Waterstones, Amazon, like a bunch of different places. So if you know that person loves to read, you can get like Dracula, Frankenstein, like all of like the gothic classics. Um, that's always a good option. One book that I actually got for Christmas from a friend is this one and this is called Fangs and this is by Sarah Anderson who is the author of Sarah Scribbles. I think she's super relatable and I like that she kind of looks like me with like the black bobbed hair but she also does this book which is more like a comic. It's such a cool comic book. It's all like werewolf and vampire kind of themed. So this is something a bit like different and unique so if you know someone who loves vampires and comics <laughs> then maybe this one. And the other one is Jelly Cats and I've got a few of these for Christmas. Now these aren't super goth they're more of like spooky. I actually got this one from my sister last year at Christmas and it's a little pumpkin and I absolutely love jelly cats. I find like a lot of goths like soft toys. I feel like that's a thing. Um, obviously it would depend on the person but they do adorable things like this which is from their vegetable collection but they also do animals like bats and cats I think. So there is that option. I mean I I have a little watermelon which is very cute and also a little mushroom. <laughs> so not exactly gothic but they do have like spooky alternatives as well. Now onto the things that I have quite a lot of different options for which I suppose is good because you get to choose which kind of style suits you. So next up is jewellery. Jewellery is such a nice thing to get people for Christmas um, and I feel like most people would love to receive jewellery. So first up again, I know I have to sell my shop Simply Gothic, but I do make both acrylic and stainless steel jewellery at a very affordable price. So I'll see if I can find some things that I do. I've got like a jewellery box down here. So I do sell quite a wide variety of different things so whether you like spooky things gothic things creepy things so one of my kind of best sellers is this plague doctor mask necklace which looks like this i also do like phantom of the opera like a one-off mask necklace because i am obsessed <laughs> so there's this phantom mask i also do vampire pieces like this more of like a horror kind of thing and I do have pieces from my newest Christmas collection, but they are selling quick. So this is the Krampus necklace, which I have saved for myself. And also an example of my stainless steel items are like this skull necklace, which would be on a chain, but this is my one, so. <laughs> so yeah, quite a variety. I mainly do necklaces, earrings, and also bracelets. An example of a bracelet I do is like this kind of one. So this is my pumpkin bracelet all stainless steel as well and the charms are acrylic so yes that's just a very small selection of the jewelry that i offer next up is mysticum luna they are a company i buy from quite a lot i tend to go for them for my rings because i don't make rings and i absolutely love their rings a lot of goths like coffins i would double check there are some that don't like coffins but they but mysticum luna do gorgeous coffin rings i'm wearing the black one now so it is this one and I absolutely love it. They also do skull rings, which is this one from Mysticum Luna. And also this heart one is also from Mysticum Luna. So quite a variety of different things. This jewellery box that I have is also from Mysticum Luna. It's more of like a forest witch vibe. Um, but they do personalised black 
I was gonna say makeup bags, that's all right, jewellery boxes, they do like coffin ring boxes, so they do like the jewellery storage kind of side of it which is all made by them which is amazing they also do like pin badges i have quite a few of their pin badges all of their stuff is such a lovely quality and they're just one of my favorite like jewelry brands that i buy from quite a bit i'm actually getting their jewelry for as my main christmas present so shows how much i like them i do have a code for them i am a affiliate for them so my code is simply underscore spooky i'll put it on the screen for you here and it should get you 10 percent off your order um and i do get a percentage of that back as well just be upfront. <laughs> next up is baby blue bat boutique i believe i have a code for them as well i think it's simply spooky 20 or 15 one of the two again i'll put it on the screen she does super super affordable jewelry she does like more um enamel charms so like pumpkins and i believe she does like corpse bride and some christmasy things and her packaging is really nice as well but her stuff is super affordable and it's all on sterling silver chains there's also regal rose i've come across them very recently so i haven't bought from them yet so i can't like 100 percent recommend them or anything but their jewelry is stunning <laughs> so there is them there's also etta love i did a video with them at the beginning of this year their jewellery is definitely pricey, but it's really beautiful. So this is one of the necklaces that I have from them. It's their, like, Deathhead Moth necklace. And it is sterling silver. Very, very beautiful and very detailed. I've worn this necklace quite a bit, and so far it's held up really well. And the last company is Nose or Gnose. Again, I've done quite a few videos with them. I have a code which is simply spooky5. I will put it on the screen. They do really nice, almost Pandora style jewellery. They do like the charms and also necklaces. So this is an example of like one of their chokers. It's a little Jack Skellington. Really, really cute. Or they do things like this. This is my most recent choker. Like a skull and a steak really nice stuff and as i said they do like the beads that can go on your pandora bracelet too but they're a bit more like spooky and unique for like gothic people next up is bath and beauty items so kind of like self-care makeup all of that i have down the beauty vault they do bath bombs they also stock different makeup so they have really affordable bath bombs like coffin bath bombs nightmare before christmas hocus pocus like a lot of like branded kind of things and their bath bombs look really really nice and they are quite affordable so there is them there's also tubs which is a bath bomb company and like this is their crime scene bath bomb so they do really cool spooky bath bombs and again like three pounds fifty so a lot more affordable than lush <laughs> both of those are small businesses which is really nice there's also hex bomb which probably a few of you might know they do the kind of popular black as your soul black bath bomb that turns your bath completely black and they also do like a blood one they do blood bag shower gels really really cool stuff on to makeup so i do have makeup revolution down they do really affordable palettes and i feel like they're very easy to kind of get they do a lot of free shipping they do a lot of discounts so they've done quite a few spooky collaborations they've done corpse bride which i think they still do they do nightmare before christmas and recently they have done a beetlejuice collection which is really cool so this is an example of the it's showtime palette so really unique kind of gothic pattern uh, patterns no <laughs> really unique gothic palettes so if you know that the person loves tim burton a themed makeup palette would be a good option i also though have some small business options so these are small businesses that i absolutely love so there's radioactive unicorn they do like makeup palettes like this their makeup's really really nice so that's like a the halloween palette that they do however the one thing i absolutely love from them is their nail polish so this is one of their nail polishes in eternal slumber and it does actually change in the light so it is an emerald green but it does shift to purple in different lights it's absolutely incredible but they have really unique colors both radioactive unicorn and ve cosmetics which is the next one i'm going to show you main thing for them is they are small businesses their makeup is also like cruelty free vegan all of that stuff and their colors are so unique they're just colors you don't find in the shops 
that was Radioactive Unicorn, really unique nail polishes that change colour in the light. And there's also VE Cosmetics. Um, this colour is by them, a really nice metallic red. I have worn this and it stays on really, really well. Can't go wrong with a classic red. And also this, which perfectly matches the nail polish. Do you see how it shifts? absolutely gorgeous both amazing makeup companies and ve cosmetics also does like goth face masks as well so you could put together like a little self-care makeupy box i feel like that would be a really nice gift my camera battery's flashing at me <laughs> have to hurry up <laughs> okay scented wise is quite a few again so i've got mysterious melts i've collaborated with them for my advent calendars I absolutely love her stuff. It's incredibly like well scented. The shapes of everything are really cool. Like she did like plague ones in the shape of rats. She has ghosts, pumpkins, Krampus ones, like so much. The one I'm going to show you is like a standard one, but this was the only one I could find. <laughs> um, so this was like pumpkin dread. And uh, this is an example of the kind of scents that she does. Like home baked pumpkin bread with crushed pumpkin seeds and cardamom like her scents are just incredible and she has said to me this is one of her favorites oh, it's so good. <laughs> she's also brought out her christmas collection which has things like more like christmasy things like cinnamon more masculine scents like patchouli all of that absolutely love her company and it's definitely like dark and spooky there's also bubba's melties um she does a whole range of different things i know she has a christmas collection out she does like um liquid wax melts wax melts in different shapes wax melts in the clam shell she has such a variety there's also rinky dink candles i did do a whole video about them because she did send me some stuff her candles again smell incredible there's so many amazing like spooky candle and wax melt companies out there oh amazing but yeah she does so many different tinned candles um she's bought out like toffee nut latte i i really need to get some more because her scents are so good so this was just an example of maple syrup my battery just died but we're back <laughs> um yeah i was talking about rinky dink candles so yeah this was the maple syrup one so many amazing scents and i do have a code which is spooky smells so i'll put that on the screen for you here and that will get you 10 percent off i forgot to mention i do have a code for a cult box it's simply spooky 15 and it will get you 15 percent off your first order with them next up is rain scents so this is a wax belt company and more of like a bath company too so i also showed this in a video this is like toffee apple bath soak so she also does things like this she also does bubble dust this isn't like a goth brand or anything but i feel like a lot of gothic and spooky people love like their autumnal and wintry scents so i don't think you could go wrong with that so something like that maybe the last of the candle and wax mark company is the upturned cauldron again i've done a few videos with them their packaging is super like gothic super spooky they also do really cool ghost candles where you like adopt a ghost and it comes with a gravestone certificate i feel like that is a really good unique gift their scents are incredible they do these little like pumpkin wax melts they also do matching candles they don't have the biggest scent like selection but they do like pumpkin scents apple like a romantic kind of florally one and they also have a new christmas collection which is like krampus and cookies and a bunch of things i've burnt their candles and tried these out and i absolutely love their scents so there's the upturned cauldron and the last one for scented is atelia goetia i've managed to say the name right they do a cult inspired perfume I, again, got sent some stuff. I might have a code. I'll put it on the screen if I do. <laughs> but they do really unique, kind of earthy, witchy perfumes. So a little bit more on the pricey side, but then perfume is pricey anyway. But they are a small business. Their packaging is gorgeous. So if you know someone who loves, like earthy different unique scents and loves like the whole forest witch vibe i would recommend them i think their perfumes smell incredible and we're on to the last category <laughs> this is gonna take forever to edit so this is my american shop 
recommendations because while i was out in america i bought quite a few things and there's so many amazing small businesses all of these are small businesses apart from one and you can order from them if you're in the uk but obviously just take into account there is vat and shipping charges as well i absolutely love all four of these companies so the one that isn't a small business will come to no surprise but it's bath and body works as i said a lot of goths love autumnal and winter scents obviously you'll know the person better so you can kind of judge if they do or not but i love their autumn halloween and christmas scents i think they're incredible this is sweet cinnamon pumpkin i put winter candy apple on today i am obsessed their scents are incredible they're, they're like nothing i've smelled before like i feel like with bath and body works you can smell every single like thing that's in it which i think is quite rare so i don't think you could go wrong with bath and body works and if you can find the halloween stuff like the bat hand gel holders um all of that then definitely choose that <laughs> two makeup brands that i am absolutely obsessed with is um well the first one is baby bat beauty i've bought from them for quite a few years i find some of their glitter formulas aren't the best if i'm honest i do have their glitter lipsticks and i don't get on with them well but i think their matte lipsticks are really good so this is an example of like their older ones this is in the shade phantom all of the names are spooky their colors are really good you might think this is kind of a basic one but it's a very like light gray brown kind of color like for the dead look <laughs> and they do really unique colors again um but their eyeshadow is also incredible i have this one this is actually what i'm wearing let's get nice and close and uncomfortable <laughs> but this is the eyeshadow i'm wearing i always get so many compliments on it um and it's called skeleton key and it's about five dollars so affordable it's a small business and they're really unique things and even the packaging is spooky so one of my favorite makeup brands i can't wait to buy more of the, their stuff when i'm out there <laughs> if you know someone who loves a vampire aesthetic like i like jumped out of excitement for this palette this is called the blood queen palette and this is by Mo motet's darm i think is how you say the name their makeup is something else i love their eyeshadow i tried their lipstick and it, it wasn't my favorite but i do love their eyeshadow so this is like an example of the blood queen palette super vampy all the names are really cool like um bloodlust temptress soulless murderous drained thirst compelled countess fangs like everything is spooky which i love about this palette i use this palette a lot for my red makeup looks and it's one of my absolute favorites if i lost this i would go back and buy it immediately and the last recommendation is em and sprout that was a bit weird i like, leaned forward but i was grabbing something <laughs> you might have heard of them they are literally like a shop made for me like their stuff is so cool so the thing i like reached for was these pajamas i mean how cute are these they're like little skeleton gingerbread men these are actually the pajamas i'm wearing at the moment they do clothing bags pajamas cardigans pins jewelry hair accessories shoes blankets dressing gowns christmas jumpers leggings slippers literally everything in adorably cute creepy prints they do ghosts pumpkins plague doctors krampus they are an incredible shop and i've placed many orders with them while i was out there and all of their stuff is lovely there's so much choice for them as well so if you are in america and you know someone loves the creepy cute aesthetic highly recommend them um, and they often have deals as well and that is everything <laughs> thank you so much if you stayed until the end of this video i know it's a really long video but honestly i just had so many brands to recommend and talk to you about but i hope this helps you get some recommendations for if you're looking to buy for a spooky person in your life or if you've been asked what you want for christmas and you literally have no idea i hope that this helps as i've said in a few of my other videos supporting small businesses around this type of year around this time of year is super super important i said in my last video i keep seeing small businesses shut down and i've literally seen so many more since like curiology shut down which was quite a big shock because there was someone like i aspired to be 
I think that makes sense. <laughs> so they've gone. Um, there's a few other shops that have gone, unfortunately. Times are tough. So if you can support small businesses, I highly recommend you do. And also their products have so much thought put into them and it is true when you buy from a small business they definitely like have a smile on their face like whenever I see a new order come through it always makes me super super happy so you are supporting like people's lives and their dreams so yeah do buy from small businesses if you can and if like that person is after something from them then I I highly recommend you support them I do hope this video was helpful also let me know your suggestions if I've missed any shops out. If you have any small businesses you'd love to recommend then do leave them in the comments below. I won't be able to list everything I don't think because the description box only has so much room but I will list what I can and I'll also leave all the codes below for you as well. I thank you if you do use my code, um, it does help me out, it just tells people like where you've come from and also with the affiliate link. <laughs> the affiliate links um that really helps me out really helps my channel out so thank you so much do you like this video if you enjoyed it do subscribe and hopefully i will see you in my next one without a mouth ulcer <laughs> bye